Assalamu alaikum. Once again, welcome back to my channel, Education is the Key to Success. It has been so far we have met on channel. Today, what we are going to learn, the subtitle has shown you about that we are going to learn how to draw things on Katia. Let's look if we have the picture like this given with the dimensions. If you have studied engineering drawing in your course, you can well understand these pictures and you can make. Uh, I already have tried this and I have mixed uh, make the it uh, it's uh, 3D model. Let me show you. We will go to my files and documents and here is the try to I will just show you its 3D model or uh, rotating but okay but I will I am not going to make this what I am going to try is uh, the scale window okay only that is this 2D model okay we will when we have initial starting if we start something then you it will be having an end its end somewhere so what we will uh, draw first from where we uh, would we be going to have start you are seeing that it's a, an arc look like or you can first draw a rectangle but I am going to have first draw the circle its radius is 100 um, millimeter and by default the KT is in its millimeter and its engineering triangle is given in millimeter and uh, this is 100 millimeter so the diameter is 200 millimeter okay go to KT yeah. let's start Mechanical design, part design, and let it be part one. Enable hybrid design and OK. Uh, you can sketch it on any plane. Let I am going to select XY plane, and from here I will select the option of sketch. Okay, if you have any query for this subject, you can ask me. Okay, I have told you to first draw the circle uh, here by uh, checking this circle or clicking on the circle this is selected and you can select on the constraint box and have its diameter now by clicking by double clicking on the value you can change its value up to as your desired one uh, my desired is 200 and I told you that the KT is in default the units are millimeter I will enter and now this is as defined as 200 diameter circle now what the second thing I note from the drawing given to me is that there is a line if you see it is double line but uh, yeah, this line you will got by padding what I showed you in 3d structure after giving padding yeah, you can get this but we are going to draw in only 2d so this line is outside line is just 60 millimeter from the center upward so what we will do that uh, we'll select line this is a profile tool you can have it from view then toolbars and here you are having profile i have take it uh, so it is shown in my menu from here I select the line it should be a horizontal line and straight line okay and selecting this line and this uh, constraint tool and selecting the tool you can see that I am having the distance of this line with the excess uh, you can see this on the center of the circle and I told you that it should be 60 millimeter. I will not repeat millimeter again after and again and because you all should know that all values 
are given in millimeter units. Okay, so this is 60 millimeter, and now what uh, you see that in your drawing, the same line is here, and it was also 60 millimeter from the center. What I will do, I will just select this line, and then uh, here from mirror option, that is which tool is this? This is the operation tool. From operation tool, you can have the mirror option, and then you can <coughs> select the line and the axis. Uh, the axis across which you want to mirror the same line. <coughs> okay, you can see that this line is mirrored to this with the reference axis is this one. So as this is 60 millimeter, it would also be 60 millimeter. If I try to check it, then I will check this line. I will check the constraint tool and then I will select the axis. And you will see that now it is over constrained and it is written as 60 millimeter. But you know why it is saying the cons uh, over constraint? Because it is already defined that it is mirrored to this and it is understood that it will be 60 millimeter from the reference axis. So, yeah, the green uh, color tells you that your figure is constrained, that is defined. So, you need to delete this by selecting this and pressing the delete button. And now your figure is in the defined form. Okay, now what do we want to see in operation tool uh, beside the mirror on the left hand? The left side this menu if you're not seeing this tool you can have the drop down drop down menu and there's an option of quick trim okay by having it double click on it you can use it for a long time but if you click on it for a single time you have to select it uh, before uh, before removing every time okay now I'm raising this, now I'm raising this, now I'm raising this and this one and further on this one and this one. Now it look like some how the shape is given to you in this red box. Okay. Now going to catch you again. And what I to uh, see, what I'm going to do that here there is not the the arc is not the same like this so we will see for the reading given for this arc this this is 18 millimeter so we'll go to Katya and we will select the from profile tool we will select the no not from profile but from operation the corner option and here you see that there is some tools are given that is trim all elements trim first element or no trim we will use the no trim element okay select the first line and second line along which you want to have an arc is this is and here the radius is given in pick is 18 and uh, now i can select this i can zoom it little bit You can see this is now radius of 80. Now you can select the, this arc and select the mirror tool and select the axis to which I mirror. Want to mirror this as you have seen. And then again I will select this and then again I will mirror and then I will select another axis to which I want to mirror. Then again I will select this and then again I will take a mirror option and again. I will select the axis and you see I had this uh, uh, radius of 18 arc arc of radius 18 millimeter or every four corners so what is next I want to raise this part extra part of the figure so I will go and double click on the quick trim tool and I will just first zoom my figure and then we're selecting here uh, control 
and downward button down arrow key to just erase this to zoom and have definitely like this okay now again control key and upward arrow key and again trimming this no yeah now i will set it to screen and then i will little bit zoom for the clear view now you've seen that it is somehow looking uh, as given in the picture so i do not need this the centers of these arcs of radius 18 so I will just delete them <coughs> so we we'll select if you have the idea of engineering triangle I already told you now you can read this there is the option of 4 gary at the diameter of 12 but that circle which is marked this will be the uh, with the diameter of 12 millimeter but the outside circle is just with the 26 millimeter okay you can see this this outward circle center is just 43 millimeter from its outside line so we will go to catch here we will draw the circle um, this is already selected and go to constraint box and set this diameter to 26 now I will select its center and select this line 2 by pressing the control button so that none of the line got unselected now I will go to the constraint define and here I will select the coincidence too now you can see this circle will um, move on this line only not in any other line not upward not or downward just left and right on this line now I will define the one more thing given in the graph given in your pick that this circle center is just 43 millimeter from its end line you seeing this I selected its center and selected the defined constant tool and selected this line and this distance is not like that what I want so I will select it as horizontal tool now it is also not in that in which direction I want I want it to be vertical so I will see control Z control Z I will again select this line because the center is already selected and the constraint tool and then this vertical is saying that it is over defined over constraint so just let me look at this yeah this is the horizontal horizontal so now I will change this because I need it as 43 millimeter just now you see it is defined now I will select this circle again and select the mirror option because I want to draw the circle on every four sides of this every four corner of this given picture I will select the axis 
it is mirror to this and you will see that if I again want to know its location from this line and I will select this too and this one this is the our constraint because I already know this that this is 44 millimeter from its given line so this is now over defined object I will delete this so that my object should be defined more now I will again select this and select the mirror tool and select the axis it is defined here now again I will select this and select the mirror option and select the axis now it is defined here what I need now I have drawn this and you see that there is an inner circle of diameter 12 okay 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 let me have and I will go for the circle option and again I will draw this circle and I have selected this and I just uh, take, select the constraint tool and you see here is a diameter I will edit and it will be 12 okay now again select this circle and select the mirror tool and the axis it is drawn here I again select the mirror tool uh, by selecting the circle and axis it is drawn here then I select this circle and the mirror tool and the axis I have drawn it here now by a little bit zooming it you can uh, trim the inside lines given in it but we will do this at the end okay now go for what other thing is to be needed we have drawn this we have drawn this this and this the inside body is required to need look at this circle this is of the diameter 82 and look at this circle this is at the diameter of 60 we will draw these two circles inside this body and this center okay. I will draw the circle from the center let the center is this one and you know what was its uh, diameter 82 set the constraint to and select its diameter to be 82 now you know that the circle is not uh, in the center of this but you know the center a circle is just 17 uh, millimeter from the center of this uh, if you say this as a car this is known as the tile so center of this circle is just 17 millimeter uh, horizontal distance from the center of tile so we'll go to Katia. And I will just like the center of this circle and the constraint tool and the center of this uh, and this is horizontal distance. This is of 17 millimeter but you're seeing that this is over defined so I will delete this so let me try another thing I will draw the other circle near to this and its diameter should be 
60 okay go to get here Okay, I'm erasing this circle because the circle cannot move. Let me again draw the circle and draw it here. Let take its origin defined with this and now have the horizontal measure it should be the 70 do not draw it from the region and let's check this and define to constraint and its diameter should be 82 millimeter okay now it is defined now i'm going to have another circle of diameter uh, 60 go to get here select the tool and here you should have your circle again go to constraint tool the diameter is here you can edit this and we'll get it as 60 millimeter now you have two other things given in your the vertical distance between the centers and the horizontal distance between the centers so we will first set the horizontal distance that is only 15 mil vertical distance that is only 15 millimeter of both centers I will select this tool and then the, this center and this constraint tool in this center and let have its vertical measure I will edit this as 15 now I will select this center and this center and this yeah, now it is over defined I want to get the horizontal distance of Sixty millimeter. It is going to be undefined, so I should erase it. Let me first erase this. Now I have this center and the constraint operation in the center. Now I will select the horizontal measure. There should be just sixty millimeter. Now I will select this the constraint tool. You are seeing that this is giving me all defined. Because it is having some little coincidence with this, so I will delete this and delete this. I will again draw the little circle given to me. Sometimes you have problems. I'm also not uh, perfect in this, so I'm also being this, seeing these problems. So this center and constraint tool and this center with a horizontal distance are just 60 millimeter. Now this should be of radius 30 meter of Sixty millimeter, 
in this center and this center and the constraint to with this center with the vertical measure should be 15 but it's downward again there's a problem I will again draw the circle near to this one yeah here just and select this and select this and select this and the horizontal distance of 60 and select this and the constant tool and then selecting this and a vertical mirror of 15 millimeter now selecting this and this one and the diameter of 60 mm now this is fine we have defined our constraint you should always focus on the position where you are drawing so you should not get concerned with the other line there's a circle of that radius 18 so it was coinciding with that 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 is why it was giving the old constraint so what i will do the next i know there you can see about this arc joining these circles and the radius given that is radius is 10. I was ready to uh, do about told you about the corner tool in the profile menu and uh, here's with the no trim option I will select this and select this you see there is and there's edit option of radius I will edit as 10 millimeter and then I will have again in the corner tool and select this and select this and again editing the radius of 10 millimeter now you need to little bit zoom your because it is um, now time to trim and I should select by it by double clicking this is done this is done this is trimmed this is and this is and this wow it's look like as given to you before in your novel zoom out so you see we have drawn this and now the thing left is that this is two circles the first circle radius is given to you and the center is the as like that of the circle of 60 diameter and that center is 35 millimeter so diameter 35 millimeter go to Katia select the circle tool and plot the circle and select its radius to be just edit this 35 mm okay now you are seeing an inside circle in this and you have no dimensions for this but I have told you that now if I told you uh, that it is the concept of engineering drawing but let me tell you that this is here defined as 4 girl and diameter of 12 millimeter so this is representing these holes these four holes and these holes are representing these six holes and it's the six gary m12 12 millimeter diameter is there and these two holes are defining these holes inside holes so what should we i do that what these 
at diameter 28 and diameter 50 are plotted at the back side of your uh, at the lower side of your body but we are not interested in this because we are not going to plot 3d graph we are just working with the 2d so these circles inside this circle and this circle will be just of 28 diameter millimeter and respectively here as 40 diameter millimeter and this inside circle inside this is just uh, uh, because it uh, uh, it will appear after when we use the padding tool so we'll draw the circle of 61 so it's not 61 diameter 40 and diameter 28 respectively in both circles select the circle tool select this circle and this should be Select this 40 millimeter and now you need to draw another circle of diameter 28 here okay now you see the other thing is left this is there these circles defined here what there first uh, i will to tell you that how to draw this you can see these are in the circular permutation of diameter 61 <coughs> so i will draw first a circle of diameter 61 from the center i will set its diameter by clicking on the constant tool that is 61 okay this circle is of 61 and these six holes are of 12 di diameter of 12 millimeter i go to cat here and i will draw in the circle outside here and set it to be diameter of just 12. I will select this circle and go to here uh, in the mirror tool go to drop down menu and select the rotate option. Now it will say select the or click the rotation center point. I have center point of this one and then select a clicker point to define a reference line. I want to have the reference line at this this straight reference line with to the circle of that 61 diameter and then I when I will move oh it is not making it in its actual position We are seeing that these are going to meet. Okay, I will let you how to make it. See, okay. Go to Control Z menu. So I'm going to delete this. Okay, I will select this circle and then again I will go to rotate option. Let me try again. Six instances because you want to make six and then this and this reference line. Then I'm making a perfect one. Okay, let me try it again. Okay, click OK. Control Z option. Let me try it here. I will draw this circle. Yeah. 
Got rotate tool again. Here. Okay, I've got this. Again, I'm drawing the circle and defining its diameter to be. Now, again selecting this. This is diameter twelve. Selecting this and rotate tool. Okay, okay. I'm going to draw it again. Select the rotate tool, set the reference axis. Not this. Sorry for inconvenience. Yeah, now I have made these six circles here. Now you can delete this one circle, and you are having look to this. We are seeing we have made this and now yes uh, we can have little bit maybe it's looking that I've used somewhere wrong dimensions because looking a little bit big okay now you can select all these by click uh, by selecting the control button control key and then going to this constraint define and fix them to their position now it is being fixed and click ok now these are all defined so what you need to do now you can go now you can zoom it select the quick trim tool 
and just delete these midlines Alright, it's looking good now. Well, anything there is left, I think it is done. Yeah, now you can check that this distance from this center is 114. Go to get here and select this center and the constraint tool and this center you see that this is 114 but uh, it was already done that if this is 43 and this is 43 the letter one will be 114 uh, your thing was basically designed for this so we will not be having this constraint because it is over defined and because it is already defined this distance so you can save this file Fi go to file option and then save option and saving it as your assignment save now you can exit your workbench and see this this is like this okay Thanks for watching this. May Allah bless you. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and share and press the bell icon. If I make any other video, you should get notified. Okay, laugh is.